And you can tell the Palestinians, I will I never support them. I am a Palestinian them. myself. Then I will tell you, I will never face. support you. Yeah. I will tell you to your and face. You want my, you, you want, you you want want my cousin to die. The Palestine. There hasn't been any clarification on what uh, the Republican congressman there, Chuck Fleischman, meant when he said uh, <laughs> goodbye Palestine. Uh, but he uh, very clearly has uh, no interest in maybe mitigating some of the damage that's being done to innocent people who are currently trapped in the Gaza Strip. More than 30,000 people have been killed as a result of Israel's war on Gaza following the October 7th Hamas attacks in Israel. Now, he certainly doesn't care about Palestinian Americans either because he just said that to a Palestinian American right to her face. And his hatred apparently includes children as well. Let's take a look. Why do you support the genocide and all of the war crimes and collective punishment? Are you concerned about the children? Let me make it clear. Let me make it clear. Israel is our ally, will always be our ally. And they are not guilty of genocide, and I will support Israel forever. This guy just said goodbye to Palestine. Always support Israel. You, okay. So you just said goodbye to Palestine. So you are goodbye. saying you are comfortable with the murder of thousands of children. The Jewish people will never you suffer again under under Palestinian terrorism, under Hamas, under Hezbollah. So I just think for me personally, it's hard to stomach the dehumanization of one side. I wouldn't want to dehumanize Israelis. I would be disgusted if anyone in our Congress was doing that, saying things like this about the Israelis. But for some reason, it's considered acceptable for a United States congressman, and he's from Tennessee, he represents Chattanooga, to say this openly. Yeah, I mean, Chuck Fleischman is a terrible human being who's obviously in favor of genocide. And so I know the word is overused a lot of times these days and people get very touchy about it. But again, I don't really care too much about your feelings. But he's an obvious racist. He says that he would never support Palestinians. He didn't say he would never support Hamas. He very, very, very clearly said it to the guy's face, I will never support Palestinians. So an open that, racist. I mean, that's a definitive statement. Yeah, so that period. means. I don't care what happens to to them at all. Yeah, and no goodbye matter Palestine what. is obviously look. I think it's obviously supporting ethnic cleansing and genocide. You could decide what you interpret that to mean. But him saying I don't care about Palestinians is indisputable. He's a racist. So is this now to me like there's monsters like Chuck Fleischman running around everywhere, right? And so I don't know why he's so animated about wanting to kill Palestinians and hating them and despising them and being so unbelievably racist. Um, it's not his, he's Roman Catholic, uh, so it's not like his family's from Israel. He's not an evangelical Christian, so it's not like he wants to kill all the Muslims in, in, in the area because uh, you know Yahweh told him. Uh, so I don't know, maybe he's just like likes murder of Arabs period as a personal hobby. And or maybe he's getting funded by certain lobbyists and defense contractors, etc. And to have US taxpayers fund it, which makes me so disgusted, like beyond disgusted, because I don't want to see any of my hard earned resources going toward what we're experiencing and what we're seeing in Gaza. But he supports that. He wants to take your tax money and he wants to fund the yeah. slaughter of innocent people in the Gaza Strip. Yeah, so now let's get to the hypocrisy of the rest of the Congress. So number one, is he gonna be censured? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, look yeah, guys, right. you, like, look, it doesn't matter which side of the equation you're on. You know he's not gonna be censured. And in fact, I'll bet you on it, no one's gonna care. You're allowed to say anything you like about Palestinians. But Rashida Tlaib got censured for saying from the river to the sea. Now, some people interpret that as, as wiping out Israel, and that's why I'm against that statement and that slogan, right? But some, pe but most people, uh, I hope, and certainly Rashida Tlaib means it in a political sense, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you say, no, I don't care, Rashida Tlaib should be censured and no one should ever say that, and they're the worst people in the world who, if they say that, good. Well, Netanyahu said it, except Netanyahu doesn't mean it theoretically, he's actually doing it. He's actually doing it, and he doesn't mean political, he means I'm going to kill them because I see it with my own eyes. 30,000 dead, now babies are starving to death because of Netanyahu. He said from the river to the sea and he meant it. Did he? Did anybody condemn him? Was there a congressional resolution? No, 
Not only that, all of Congress says fund them and give them even more money to do these genocidal acts. So the hypocrisy of Congress is untold, like it's over the top, it is every part of them is corrupt. Do you wanna know how many Democrats right now, Chuck Fleischman is a Republican, do you wanna know how many, the good guy, the Democrats, how many of them now are still not in favor of a ceasefire? Five months in, I mean, hundreds of war crimes in, over 200 Democrats are still not in favor of a ceasefire. The Democratic Party is the party of decent people. Is it? Who care about the dignity of others, especially the disenfranchised. Is it? So now let's talk about Republicans. So Chuck Fleischman is a Republican. Today, Donald Trump said, uh, finish them Uh, in regards to Gaza. I guess he means kill them all. He can clarify, what does that mean? To finish all of them in Gaza. Is that a final solution? Uh, The Republicans said, "Oh, I can't believe Joe Biden wants to give Israel 14 billion extra dollars of US taxpayer money because they're good conservatives, right? They wanna safeguard uh, the taxpayer money like they always say, and they're America first like they always say, right? No, wrong. They were mad at Biden because he wasn't giving enough to Israel. They wanted to send $17.6 billion and I haven't heard, maybe there's a Republican or two that's called for a ceasefire, but I haven't heard it. Uh, So almost 100% of the Republican Party is against a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. So our Congress is filled to the rim with Chuck Fleischmans. They love genocide, they wanna fund it. There's a couple of, there's a bunch of heroes, almost, not almost all of them progressives. Bernie Sanders is the leading one, he says we shouldn't send Israel another dollar. Uh, He said, in fact, not another nickel until they stop the bombing and get to a ceasefire. Joaquin Castro has been fantastic on this issue. So everyone who stands up in Congress, we love you and we need you. But for the rest of you, you're the disgusting monsters that have brought us this genocide. Finally, I'll just note that uh, there is a challenger to Fleischman, a Democrat by the name of Jack Allen running for Fleischman's seat in Congress. He condemned the congressman's hostility toward um, you know, the campaigners, as you saw in the video, and said, uh, we are well past the need for a ceasefire in this conflict. And there have been some Democrats who are currently in Congress who have spoken out against what Fleischman said there, including uh, Congresswoman Becca Ballint, uh, who said that the latest rant by the congressman should be recognized for what it is, a member of Congress calling for the genocide of the Palestinian people. That is a rare statement, a strong rare statement from a member of Congress and a Democrat. So there you have it. I like that and what he should do is he should stay on him. Are you pro war or anti war? Are you in favor of Americans keeping their taxpayer dollars or do you wanna spend it on bombs to kill babies? Are you pro life or are you not pro life? If he keeps on that, it's not even impossible for him to win that seat. Because there's a lot of Republican voters who don't want this war and who actually meant it when they said pro-life. Although none of their leaders meant it ever, ever. Every pro-life leader is a total utter liar. Not one has condemned endless deaths of children and babies in Gaza, not one. When you hear someone that's a leader saying they're pro-life, understand they're a giant liar and they love to take away women's rights and they don't care about the life of babies 1%.